Hey everyone. <sighs> life, life is as magical as you allow it to be. And having said that, it's also as hard as you make it. That's right. If you look at all the biggest battles within your life, all the big major conflicts in your life, where you've had extreme amounts of pain and torment, misery and stress, it's when you've ignored your intuition, when you've ignored those gut feelings, that inner knowing, and just done something that you knew did not feel right to begin with. Mm -hmm. Yep, we all do it. All of us, especially me. I am like number one on the list. I have done that my entire life. The thing is learning that lesson and to stop doing it, to recognize that behavior and to stop allowing it. We always have room to grow and learn, don't we? But you have to wake up and open your eyes and realize what you are doing to yourself, to your own life, and own it. Pay attention. It's not about everyone else. It's not about who did what to whoever. What did you do to yourself? What did you do to yourself? And when are you going to stop? Our life gets better when we stop doing these things that are self-destructive. We aren't going to recognize the problems that we are making if we don't change that behavior within ourselves. Life is never going to get better. It's always going to be a struggle at some point or another. We will have happy moments. Yes, we will. We'll have little spurts of good times. But it's going to be followed by that conflict and that struggle because of our own behaviors. So this week I want you to really truly pay attention to your own behaviors. Look for the patterns in your life that have brought you the most conflict and struggle. And work on putting an end to that behavior. Because then that's when life truly does start getting better. It truly does. But we have to recognize the things that we do wrong within ourselves. We do it. We create the misery so often. So often by ignoring the things that we think that we, our mind says, Oh, that's little. That's nothing. I can deal with that. I can handle that. Because you've dealt with much worse in the past. Those little things grow in to be something big later down the road. Trust me. You know this to be true. The little things you ignore early on and you just tell yourself, Oh, I can take that. I can deal with that. I can handle that. Over time, they grow into something big. And it becomes a problem. It becomes a big problem problem and then you have this big mountain to try to get over and how do you do it it was your behavior your choice to ignore what you already saw and knew to be true that created the problem we have to own our own choices and behaviors we have to own them we can't continue walking our road this path putting blame everywhere else. We can't continue to say, well, I was abused at some point in my life. So this is why I do all these things. Well, if you know these things and know why, then you can put a stop to it. Is it easy? No, not even a little bit. It is hard. It's something you have to be conscious and aware of every single moment of your day. And pay attention to what you're doing Pay attention to the choices you make and why you make them. Stop ignoring the red flags. Stop saying to yourself, convincing yourself, Oh, I can live with that. I can live with that. Because if it pops up and says, Hey, look at me, look at me, look at me, I'm a problem. Trust that that is a problem. And it may seem small at the moment. But trust me, down the road, 
other things attached to that and it just keeps growing and that snowball effect and becomes a big problem down the road. And then there we are, right in the middle of misery all over again. Something to think about, isn't it? This week is all about clearing the way. We're going to be finishing up our final days of astounding August. And like I said in one of my previous videos, sometimes some of the most astounding moments are when we have that clarity within ourselves. When we have that personal breakthrough or that aha moment that stops a behavior that we've had our entire lives. And it clears the way so that we can truly feel free to move forward without all that baggage and all that pain. So if you were expecting astounding August to be something out of a fairy tale where true love walks in and this knight on a white horse comes to rescue you, that's where you were having expectations when you shouldn't have. But my favorite things are when I gain that personal clarity because it frees me. It builds me and makes me stronger. And as I continue to walk down my path, I just grow stronger and stronger and stronger. I am more and more free from all those things that hold me down and hold me back from moving forward. Clearing that debris is like a superpower. And that, my friends, that is astounding. So what will September be for us? Hmm. I'm going to have to give this some thought. I will probably reveal that later on this week. September. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So many things September could be. We shall see. Remember you have the power to create the life you've always dreamed of. You do. Be aware of your behaviors. Be aware. Open your eyes. Own them. And change what needs to be changed. Get outside, touch the earth, cleanse your space, do your meditations, and remember that this way, the wolf, the raven spirit, we are sending you unconditional love. <laughs>